Boxing has long had a mixed representation in the media, with some arguments suggesting it is a brutal, violent and dangerous sport, whilst others celebrating its popularity and the athletes involved in the sport. What can't be argued is the sport's popularity, and with audience figures continually rising, it seems like the sport is here to stay, like it or not. In this documentary, we are looking beyond the ring and into the lives of those who have found boxing as a form of salvation and escape from life that without boxing may have turned out very different. Uh, I was walking home one day, I got jumped by two or three people, um, busted my lip, got beat up quite bad and then decided that enough was enough and uh, it wasn't the first time I'd been beaten up so I thought I'd just learn to defend myself and then one thing led to another, ended up catching a bug and then here I am now. Um, mentally it's made me a lot more disciplined, uh, keep, for example, little things like keep my room tidy. Um, I, I eat well, I train well, run every day, I make sure that I keep my body in top condition, I treat it really, really well. I really look after it, it keeps me away from things like smoking, drinking, drugs, parties, them sort of things. Um, but I mean, there are aspects of it where it has changed me for the worse, I'd say. Um, I mean, if somebody was to push my buttons enough, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to buy it. Uh, just because I know that, obviously, if if you're capable of doing something, you'll do it. So, uh, because I know what I'm capable of, it makes me more likely to hit out. That's a good question. Um, firstly, uh, that time when I got beat up, uh, their faces are always in my face, in my head. Um, when I'm fighting, they constantly strike me on. Just because I, I want to prove to myself that I'm better than that. I'm not the same person who was picking himself up off the floor back then, all bloody and bruised. Um, I'm not that person anymore. Uh, and also, during the first few years that I started boxing, I had a really tough time. So I was a bit sort of in and out of the gym just because within them, the first few years my mum and dad broke up, moved out of my the home that I've been brought up in um, and then my nan died, my granddad died so it all happened in quite a short space of time um, so yeah so that did help me through it though I think if it wasn't for boxing I would have been in a lot darker place then um, and yeah I mean it's probably been one of the best things mentally that's ever happened to me um, but yeah, it's a, I use that to strike me on, I use that as motivation. I want to do them people proud. Uh, I want to make the best out of a bad situation. Uh, so I just use that to keep moving forward and keep striving forward and better myself. Uh, obviously, the first thing, Muhammad Ali, uh, just even, not even as a boxer, just as a person, I just have a lot of respect for him, the things he did outside the ring, the things he had to go through and the way he conducted himself throughout all of that was just amazing. Um, I like, not necessarily as a boxer, but I like Conor McGregor, uh, just because of the, a bit like Muhammad Ali, the showboating, the, the trash talk, all the camaraderie that comes of it. Um, but then I like other boxers as well, like Andy Joshua, because they're just, they're humble, they're honest, uh, and I've got a lot of respect for them for that, because when you've achieved what someone like that's achieved, it's quite easy to become big-headed. Uh, I mean, the ultimate goal is to be world champion. Um, that's like a kid's dream, though, wanting to be a footballer, play for their favourite club. Um, but, I mean, there's no reason why it can't be achieved. Uh, people have started boxing a lot later than me. I knew Joshua started boxing at 18, I started at 30. So, I mean, I've got five years of them, so it's always possible. Um, but, yeah, I mean, more short term, I want to first get hold of the county belts then the national belts next year um, and then from then on I want to fight for the GB squad 
and then work my way up as an amateur and then turn pro about 1920.